the sun protection in lip balms not only protect the lips from sun's harmful UV rays but they also prevent darkening of the lips. In this video I am going to share with you some lip balms which have got SPF sun protection in them and these lip balms are all available in India. Hi everyone this is Sandhya here let's get started. The first one is a lip balm from Minimalist. Now this lip balm has got a sun protection factor of 30. The skin on the lips is very delicate, it's very thin and so it's not thick enough, strong enough to prevent water from the deeper layers of the skin from evaporating into the environment. It cannot be an effective barrier and this is one of the main reasons for dry and dehydrated lips and so it needs some assistance. The lip balm should have the right ingredients which can help the skin on the lips with its barrier function. This lip balm from Minimalist has got petrolatum in it. Petrolatum is a very good ingredient and it can help the skin on the lips in its barrier function. It forms a thick layer on top of the skin and prevents water loss from the deeper layers of the skin and thus it helps keeping the lips hydrated. The product also has avocado butter and chia butter and these two also form a thin layer on top of the lips and prevent the hydration loss from the deeper layers of the skin. The product also has sodium hyaluronate. Sodium hyaluronate is a very powerful humectant. Humectants are water magnets so they draw water hydration from the atmosphere, from the environment and bring all that hydration to the surface of the skin. The product also has ceramides. Ceramides will strengthen the skin's barrier function. Now the skin's barrier function is effective when it has certain ingredients in it and one of those ingredients is ceramides. An effective skin barrier means less hydration loss from the deeper layers of the skin into the environment. One of the good things about this product is it does not have any nasty ingredients. Nasty ingredients like flavoring ingredients and fragrance most common in a lot of lip balm. Flavoring ingredients can taste good. They might even give you a tingling sensation and give you the feeling that it's doing something for the lips, something positive for the lips, but it's actually a silent killer. In the long run, it's going to leave your lips dry, dehydrated and cracked. So the good thing about Minimalist Lip Balm is it does not have any such nasty ingredients in it. This product also comes at a very good price. I, I highly recommend this product. It's got a sun protection factor of 30, a good one. It can keep the skin hydrated because of petrolatum, avocado butter and shea butter. It's got an ingredient ceramides which can help the strengthening of the skin's barrier function. That means more hydration to the skin. And it's got sodium hyaluronate which is a humectant which is going to bring in more hydration to the skin. It is a very good lip balm. But the best advantage apart from the sun protection factor is is that it does not it does not have any nasty ingredients like fragrance and flavoring ingredients the lip balms that i'm picking in this video should meet two criteria number one it should have a good sun protection factor number two it should have good ingredients ingredients that do no harm to the lips the next lip balm is nmf e lip care this lip balm offers a protection of 40 sun protection factor number for this lip balm is 40 which is a very good number and it also comes at a very reasonable price. The product has sesame oil which is going to form a thin layer on top of the lips and prevent the water loss from the deeper layers of the skin on the lips. Another important benefit of sesame seed oil is that it's very rich in linoleic acid. Linoleic acid can strengthen the skin's barrier function. A strong barrier means less hydration loss that means hydrated lips. Linoleic acid is also very rich in antioxidants. Now antioxidants fight off certain nasty molecules on the skin called free radicals. Free radicals can age the skin and it could also result in inflammation. Inflammation will eventually lead to dark spots, darkening of the lips. So by fighting off these free radicals, it's preventing the darkness on the lips. So linoleic acid is a very powerful ingredient. Linoleic acid that's found in sesame seed oil. The product also has vitamin E. Vitamin E is again a good antioxidant. That means it's going to fight off those free radicals. That means less inflammation on the skin, which is a good thing because inflammation will eventually lead to 
darkness on the lips. Also has cocoa oil and aloe vera, both very hydrating to the skin. Quick summary about the product. It comes at a good price. It offers a sun protection factor of 40, which is a very good number. It has ingredients which can keep the skin hydrated. It has got ingredients which is going to reduce the inflammation on the skin. Low inflammation means less chances of those darkness on the lips. Sun protection factor number, that's the number which comes after the letters SPF, has to be 30 or above 30. 50 is excellent. There are a lot of lip balms in the market which offer a SPF of 15. I am not including those lip balms in this video because um, this is purely for lip balms which offer a protection of 30 or above. The next lip balm is the Brightening Lip Balm from Deconstruct. The sun protection factor for this lip balm is 30. This lip balm has Shea Butter, Yehova Estes, Sunflower Oil and Castor Oil, all very good ingredients in keeping the skin on the lips hydrated. Some of these oils also have some ingredients in there which are going to strengthen the skin's barrier function. Also has two very powerful ingredients, vitamin C and another ingredient called resorcinol. Both very good ingredients in reducing the dark spots, reducing the pigmentation on the lips. Studies show that the ingredient resorcinol is also good at reducing the cracks on the lips. The product also has tocopherol which is nothing but vitamin E. Vitamin E is a good antioxidant so it's going to fight off those nasty free radicals and help reduce the inflammation which means less inflammation will always lead to less chances of that pigmentation being formed because inflammation leads to pigmentation which is nothing but the darkening of the lips. The one ingredient in this product which is making me a bit uncomfortable is vanilla oil. It has got no functional role. It's been purely added for fragrance. I wish this product didn't have vanilla oil because it's a, such a good product with all other very powerful ingredients. So this vanilla oil has been purely added for fragrance. So um, that's, that's the only reason I'm just a bit hesitant about this product otherwise it's a damn good product. A quick side note when something tastes good on the lips we tend to lick it and with saliva when we lick it the saliva deposits on the lips and when saliva evaporates it takes along with it the hydration from the lips it's going to leave your skin more dehydrated. So this tasting good flavoring ingredients means more licking of the lips which means when evaporation of saliva occurs it's going to take all that hydration from the lips which is going to leave your lips dry and dehydrated. So in the short term, it will taste good, feel good, but in the long run, really bad lips. The next lip balm is the one from Sebamit. It's got a SPF of 30 in it. It's got castor oil, Yehovah oil, squalene, all very good ingredients in protecting the skin and reducing the dehydration, reducing, keeping that skin hydrated. Also has ascorbyl palmitate, which is a derivative of vitamin C. It's going to brighten up the lips. It's a good lip balm, but it again has fragrance in it. It's so hard to find lip balms without fragrance and no flavoring ingredients and with sun protection. It's a very difficult combination, actually. Um, this one has good ingredients, ascorbyl palmitate, and good ingredients which can keep the lips hydrated, but it also has a little amount of fragrance in it which is a bit of a concern for me. Why is, why is it a concern? Fragrance is basically an irritant. It's going to leave the skin irritated in the long run. Sometimes irritation appears quickly, shows up quickly, and sometimes it'll just appear gradually. And irritation will lead to inflammation, and inflammation will lead to pigmentation, which is nothing but darkening of the lips. If you've got no problem with fragrance, if your skin is quite resistant to it, and you feel like um, you don't mind it, then go for it because it's got then go for it because it's a product which has got really good ingredients except for that fragrance in it finally i would like to mention two products which are very good but a bit higher up on the uh, price scale but they're quite good products and that's why i thought they deserve a mention the first one is the first step sport sunscreen lip balm for a sun protection factor of 50 which is excellent it's got petrol atom which is going to keep the skin hydrated it's got a couple of other ingredients which also is going to help in keeping the skin hydrated hydrated skin is soft and plump and that's what we all want in our lips the final one is from the vani cream it's got a sun protection factor of 30. nothing special it's got ingredients which is going to keep your skin hydrated the reason i liked it is because it's got no nasty ingredients in it and that's not a very common thing to find in lip balms it's got no fragrance no flavoring ingredients and it's got sun protection factor of 30 and it's got ingredients which can keep the skin hydrated these are not very common to come by in lip balms it does come at a very high price so um that's something to remember but it's a good lip
it's got zinc oxide which is effective sun protectant but it will leave a white cast on your skin so that's something to note as well my favorite lip balm is the one from minimalist um just uh, i just love that product so it's good it's really good an important note just because your lip balm has sun protection in it it doesn't mean you apply the lip balm and then the protection will last the whole day at the most the protection will last for up to two hours and sometimes even less so you need to reapply this lip balm quite regularly at regular intervals the lip balm has to be reapplied if you apply it just once in a few hours it's the same as not having any sun protection at all so keep reapplying at regular intervals that's about it if you liked this video please give it a like and do subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video bye for now